Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel PK Chemistry. In the previous lecture, we discussed Bayer Wilger oxidation rearrangement. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Deccan rearrangement. Deccan rearrangement nothing but it's a conversion of catechol from solid slow ligate. Solid slow ligate. The presence of hydrogen peroxide base followed by hydrolysis gives the catechol mechanism. This is similar to Bayer Villager oxidation. In the presence of base hydrogen peroxide bond OH, bond C double bond O, bond H, O minus bond OH minus attacks the aldehyde gives C bond O minus bond H bond O bond OH. The next step is the migration of migration of this bond to here then automatically this bond comes here elimination of OH so what you will get is bond F9 O bond C double bond O bond H bond OH then hydrolysis base hydrolysis what you will get is tax here Bond OH, bond O, bond C, bond O minus, bond OH, bond H, and then you will get a catechol as a product. Let's discuss some applications of Deccan rearrangement. How can you name this compound? 1, 2, 3. 2 hydroxy, 3 methoxy, benzoyl ligate. In the presence of hydrogen peroxide, sodium hydroxide, followed by hydrolysis, what will happen? All ligate converted into alcohol. OH and OH. How can you name this one? 1, 2, 3. So 2, 3 dihydroxy anizo. Next, next example is parahydroxy acetophenone. So what you will get is you will get a OH this ketone converted into alcohol. So you will you will get a hydroquinone. If you like this video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel PK Chemistry. Thank you.